Good evening from London. Drivers in the United Kingdom have been warned of rising fuel costs after global oil prices surged to their highest level for 10 months. Brent's crude breached $95 a barrel earlier today amid predictions of shorter supplies. It came as the International Energy Agency said a decision by Saudi Arabia and Russia to cut production could cause a significant supply shortfall by the end of this year. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development has raised its forecast for global growth thanks to a stronger-than-expected U.S. economy and despite a weakening German economy. The world economy is now expected to grow 3.0% this year, up from the 2.7% forecast in June. However, global growth is expected to slow to 2.7% in 2024, down from its estimate of 2.9% in June, the OECD warns Germany is expected to experience the heaviest blow driven by higher interest rates and weaker global trade, while the UK is forecast to see the highest inflation rate of the world's G7 advanced economies this year. Inflation across the Eurozone slowed in August as price rises eased in 15 EU member states. Consumer prices across the single currency area rose by 5.2% in the year to August, down from 5.3% in July, and lower than the 5.3% initially estimated for August. However, the figure is still substantially above the European Central Bank's 2% medium-term inflation target. Elon Musk has suggested that all users of X, formerly called Twitter, may have to pay for access to the platform. In a conversation with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the billionaire said a payment system is the only way to counter automated accounts. Since taking over the social media platform last year, Mr. Musk has looked to encourage users to pay for an enhanced service, which is now called X Premium. And those are your main stories from London at Close of Business.